Hi, this is a Fourscore tutorial on how to draw your own custom stamps and save them to the stamp library in Fourscore's annotation toolbar. If you've used the stamp feature in Fourscore's annotation toolbar, you'll see that it comes with a number of nice default stamps in the library with some standard music notation symbols, but what you may not know is that you can actually create your own custom stamps and add them to this library. There are a couple of different ways to do that. One of them is to draw the stamp by hand using Fourscore's stamp editing tool and then save it to the library. And the other way is to import a stamp image file using iTunes into, your, into Fourscore on your iPad. And that image file can either be something that you've created using image editing software, or it can be from a collection of stamps that you've downloaded from the web at various locations where they're available. So, that method is discussed in a separate tutorial, so check out my YouTube channel for that. But what I'll discuss in this tutorial is how to draw your own stamp by hand and save it to the library. So let's get started. To access the stamp editing tool, first open up the annotation toolbar. Then from there, tap on the pencil icon, and then you'll see on the first item, stamps, tap on the circle, the arrow in the circle, to the right of it. From here, you've gotten to the stamp library, and then you can tap on the edit button on the top right corner. To add a new stamp, tap on the plus sign, and then that brings up the stamp editing tool. And from here, you can draw whatever symbol that you'd like. And the drawing tools are a lot like the drawing tools that you use for Fourscore annotation. So there are some controls in the lower right for controlling the, the pen. And um, there's also on the top bar, there's an erase tool if you want to, if you've made a marking and you want to erase it. So just a quick example here. And then if you want to clear the canvas entirely, you can use the clear button and then tap the tap it to confirm. So let's uh, draw a set of, of eyeglasses, kind of a watch the conductor symbol. And let's make them in a bright eye-catching purple. So let's see if I can find purple here. That looks like it. And um, let's try to make it pretty bright and visible. And then let's also make the line a little bit thicker too. And um, this tool can actually also be used to edit existing stamps, including the ones that are part of Fourscore's default library. And it also has some other tools like um, down here on the bottom right side, there's an eyedropper icon, and that can be used to sample colors from an existing stamp that you're working on in this canvas. But for now, let's just go ahead and draw those eyeglasses. Well, that's a little bit thick. Let's try that again. And then tap Save on the top right corner to save your stamp. And then you can tap Done on the top left of the stamp library. And then if you go back into the stamp library and then page to the last, um, swipe to the last page in the library, you'll see your new symbol. And you can go ahead and tap on it to select. And then you should be able to Tap in your score and add your new stamp. So that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my YouTube channel for more tutorials on Fourscore and other music and technology topics.